Is there a specific part of the brain for spirituality? Evidence suggests it is the temporal lobes. One part of the temporal lobes process hearing voices and other sounds. The hippocampus and amygdala are important parts of the temporal lobe. The hippocampus stores general memories. The amygdala processes memories of high emotional content. Wilder Penfield, a Canadian neurosurgeon, treated epilepsy by removing the epileptic focus. Since the brain has no pain receptors, subjects could be awake while different parts of their brain was being stimulated. This process identified the temporal lobes as the site for many complex spiritual experiences, including feelings of being in the presence of others, of hearing angelic voices, of intense meaningfulness, of being connected to some force greater than themselves, and of talking to God. Temporal lobe epilepsy also results in the electrical stimulation of the temporal lobes. Intense religious conversions have been reported in individuals with temporal lobe epilepsy. The founders of some religions, including Joseph Smith, the founder of Mormonism, had symptoms suggestive of temporal lobe epilepsy. Individuals with near-death experiences experience strong spirituality, including a feeling of great peace, <clears throat> out-of-body sensations, seeing a bright light, and a feeling of seeing God and being in heaven. Near-death experiences are due to severe lack of oxygen to the temporal lobes. Psychedelic drugs often produce a sensation of contact, of being in the presence of and interacting with a non-human being. Sophisticated test subjects who knew these feelings were drug-induced nevertheless insisted the contact had really happened. These results indicate the temporal lobes often cannot distinguish between real and non-real experiences. It is necessary for the rational brain to understand that one of the characteristics of the spiritual brain is to strongly believe in something, have faith in something, even when the rational brain says it is unreasonable or that it did not and could not have happened. The rational brain needs to give the spiritual brain its space to have faith without being derogatory and critical. This, and adhering to scientific laws of nature, allow us to develop a rational spirituality in which the spiritual and rational brain can live in peace.